So guys, we have just left our accommodation and we are going getting some really nice pizza. It's Isabella and we are going on our way down now and it's so hot outside, really hot. So I have to get some sun cream in the chemist as well. So we're going to get that and then we're going to the cable cart as well. So we're looking forward to the views from that. And I'll just show you around Jardine. So guys, we haven't stopped in a restaurant, we've stopped in a shop. So we're gonna get some treats and then we're gonna do the cable cart and then get some food. So some delicious treats. And some nice tato. Some ice cream. We've got some Gatorade. Hello. Gracias. Need to buy a new pair of hands. So guys, we finally managed to get here and we have to wait 10 minutes now for it to come back. So it's obviously bringing people back. But this used to be used for the locals going up the mountain and coming down and also bringing supplies down as well. And then they started using it as a tourist thing as well. So tourists are allowed to go on it now. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's so quiet up here and the views are amazing from what we're gonna see. So the cable car just goes up here. And then you've got the views down below. And we can hear a waterfall. So I think there's a waterfall somewhere up here as well. So hopefully we're gonna to get to see that as well. And the price of this was 10,000 pesos. And that is... If we're going, coming back, but we are just going up. So it's 5,000 each because we, we heard that's a nice walk to come down. There's another, that's two walks. One 20 minutes in another one, a long one, one hour. But the long one is nicer. We we'll see if we have time to do it today. And yeah, I've seen lovely accommodations up this way as well. It's a lot quieter to where we are as well. So we'd nearly prefer it up here, wouldn't we? Yeah. It's so much, it's so much quieter. It's nicer. It's a lot nicer and quieter. And yeah, we're gonna go now. And then once we're on, we'll show you. Guys, we find out it was a bit shaky, wasn't it? Yeah, it's still not too bad. We thought it was going to be higher up, 
So yeah, we're gonna explore around here now and there's a, seems like a bar restaurant in here as well. So we're gonna try and get to the waterfall now. So guys, we think this was the old one they used to have and now they turned into kind of like a bar area. It doesn't look as steady as the last one. Crazy. We just left now and we're going to do a trail which shouldn't take that long and um, we're going to do a uh, waterfall so it's Cascada de la Mor. It's not the biggest of waterfalls but it's such a beautiful evening and it's very very hot here so we're going to cool down there for a while and we'll show them to you when we get there. So guys, we finally made it to Cascada de la Mor and it's 35 meters high, as you can see just behind me. And it's so quiet, it's only myself and I get to here as well. And then you've got a hotel just over there as well. Just there. So we were just saying, if we could stay up here, it'd be so much nicer. It's like more walks to do, hikes, and got a few waterfalls around the place as well. So yeah, if you're coming to the area, definitely check out places around here. So we're gonna go now and enjoy this for a while. Guys, we just stopped in this ice cream place to get some ice creams and it's all fruits in it. Good for you. They look really nice. Guys, we finally got our ice creams. I got the raspberry one and then Agatha got the coconut. <laughs> so yeah, they're really nice. It's so warm, so outside. So this is like the main square where we are at the minute. This is where like all the locals come in the evening time. That's why it's so busy. We're just gonna chill here for another hour or two and relax and take in all the scenery and we'll finish these off as well. <laughs> Good 
guys. So today we are doing another waterfall and a cave. So the cave we're doing, it's uh, built by two brothers and they built it in their pastime. So in the finished work, they just started to build a cave and now it's open for tours. So yeah, we're gonna go down to it now and check it out. And there's three different types of bats there as well. So that's why it's called Bat Cave. And um, we're doing a waterfall as well, and that's called Cascada in Tatada. So we're just heading to the cave first and then the waterfall. And yeah, we decided to change our accommodation. So now, as you can see, we're in the beautiful countryside. And yeah, it's a lot quieter. The town was just getting a bit too much, wasn't it? Yeah, the hotel wasn't good. And then it from to just like bars and restaurants. Yeah. So it's like busy from like 7 a.m. Like 11. It was just a very big like old hotel and it was just echoing like especially when people woke up in the morning you could just mm. yeah we didn't get much sleep so now we are in the countryside which we prefer yeah. and yeah it's a lot nicer there's more people around and more things to do as well so I think whoever's here is going to be like doing trails and hikes yeah I don't know for us anyways we prefer it we kind of get a bit fed up in this like even in the town big towns or cities after a while and yeah, we prefer a bit of nature, don't we? Of course. <laughs> so we're going now to the back cave. And then once we're there, hopefully the guy is still there from yesterday. And once we get there, we'll show you. So we just reached the house here. It's just around the corner from the cave. And we are talking to a woman there and she's going to get someone to bring us. I think it's only maybe about three or four minute walk inside the cave. But yeah, we're just going to show you. As we said, it's three different bats as well. And then you got a view of a waterfall, looks like it's, yeah, going to be cool. More than 800. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh. <laughs> Melia, no oh, más. Así, así. No más. No más. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tomé fotos a estos de la tierra ¿Ah? Ah. 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 Your thirst. Wow, Jesus. grande! <laughs> wow, so cool. <laughs> Uh-huh. Very, very small. But loads of them. Like I think there's only one that's actually loads. Here. Loads here. Flying all over. All around us. Uh-huh. <laughs> <gasps> More here. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, each of these tunnels have a viewpoint, and yeah, just getting so closer to the waterfall. 
So we're going to keep going up and up and up in the next 20 minutes. And then you've got the cave here. So guys, we just came out of the cave now, and yeah, really worth doing it. it. Takes maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. About 10 minutes to do it. We yeah, had so many bats. Like, never seen that many yeah, bats nice. before. There's like small ones, and then they're all together. And then you just look up, and he shines and they're the- they're flying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, so it's nice. like he shines the torch on top of the cave. You don't realize how many is actually looking over you. And then there was one then at the end, just on its own. That looks yeah. a lot. That looks a lot bigger. Yeah. But yeah, he was talking in Spanish, but I can tell. I couldn't understand. Sometimes I understand a small bit, like it depends who's talking. But I think the fact he's a, like older and was very hard to understand. But yeah, definitely worth doing it, wasn't yeah. it? Just the waterfall when we finished that we passed through the waterfall. Uh, we saw photographs of people swimming. Like we could, like, we were able to go there before. And then we just read a comment like a girl died, died there, I think three years ago. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because of that or it's because of very dangerous. They, it's closed now. Like, so it's like around here, there's a lot of mud. And then, well, we've seen a lot of bad storms, especially in Medellin as well. It was like very bad rainstorms. So what we're thinking is that when it rains here, the mud comes down like a landslide. Because even when we were at the waterfall there, there was like a big tree just kind of fell down but yeah we still got to see it the guy yeah. took nice photographs of us as well it was probably yeah. the best tour we've been on he was really nice and yeah, yeah we've got a lot of photographs videos so he was really nice but yeah if you're definitely down here definitely do it it's how much was that it was 10,000 each That's i think it's two euro two, two fifty. no more than that so yeah it's it's not much like it's, it's worth doing something a bit different and as you say you get to see some bats as well so now we just came down from across the house where we were and it's just like a lake. So the water's going all the way down. And then you can see just over there as well. It's like a camping ground as well. So I'm not sure if that's to do with the house. You have to pay their money, but we're not sure, but it's definitely a cool spot to come to like. We've got like this down here as well. And then the weather. So we're gonna relax here for a while, chill in the sun for a while and we'll see then what else we're going to do later. So we came back down after the waterfall and hike. We got some lovely food in a restaurant just down for the main town. And then we left there and we were just heading up the street for our accommodation. It's a bit further on but we came across this big massive swim pool and it was about 170 for each of us. So yeah, it wasn't too bad and it stays up till five o'clock as well. So as you can see, you got like all the seats so you can stay here all day. Then over here you got food, drinks, ice cream. Then you got obviously the umbrellas as well. So yeah, it's a good deal. It's, you can stay here all day. As we said, there's no like beach close by so this is kind of the closest thing you're going to get, but as you can see, it's quite big. It's like Olympic size, as you can see here. So Agatha's trying to do her swimming lessons here. <laughs> yeah. Trying to see how long she can stay under the water for her. <laughs> and she won, so yeah. My lungs aren't as good as they were. <laughs> so we're gonna probably wait here for another hour or so, relax, because the sun's very strong, and then head back to our accommodation and probably gonna have an early night as well because we are heading to Salento in the morning and we're gonna be leaving around six o'clock in the morning, six, seven o'clock, because we want to get there early as well to enjoy that. But we'll keep you updated and anything else we do out through the day. So guys, we're just 
start with a famous pizza place in Sierra. It's called Dos Bellas, and the pizza is absolutely amazing. You can't wait to have a king over last day. It was lovely, and you get two big glasses of passion fruit as well, and it's fresh as well, so that's good. So always the pizza comes, we'll show you that. It should be a lot. Guys, our pizza came and I'll just show you now. And yeah, we're really hungry, so we're just gonna eat this quick today because we haven't had much today. So, guys, we're just back after our pizza, and once again, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yes. As usual. You're so full after them, like they're such a big pizza. Yeah. And then you get your big juice as well. So Yes. I always have just one and just bring another one back home. <laughs> yeah. They are really good for value for yeah. money. So check out that place also. But yeah, our time here in thirteen is finally over and yeah. we really enjoyed it. It was such a cool place to come to. Yeah. Everything that we've done from walks and hikes, even the waterfalls, everything. Yeah. It was really good, wasn't just, it? Just spend time here is nice. It's just It's nice, it's relaxing, just yeah, as I said, peaceful as well. And you can just enjoy yourself. So guys, this is the end of this video and I hope you liked it. Yes. And give us a like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> see you soon.